Retinoblastoma is defined as a rare cancer that occurs in one or both eyes of a child that is caused by a genetic defect in the retina. Symptoms of retinoblastoma disease vary but can include a white glow in the eye that can be detected when a photograph is taken using a flash. Instead of the typical red eye, the pupil may appear white or distorted. There might also be white spots in the pupil. The patient may be cross-eyed, they might experience a red painful irritation in the eye, have poor vision, and the iris may be a different color in each eye. Retinoblastoma can be fatal if it is left untreated or if the cancer has spread to other parts of the body. Retinoblastoma is not a common tumor except in families that carry the RB gene mutation. The gene affected in this disease is the RB1 gene. This disease is both inherited and not inherited. It is 40% inherited, 25% in both eyes, 15% in one eye, and 60% not inherited, meaning other factors contribute to the disease. There is a 50% chance with each pregnancy that the gene will be passed to the offspring. Some will have the second mutation and pass it to their offspring without ever experiencing the disease itself. Retinoblastoma is an autosomal dominant, which means that the susceptibility to retinoblastoma is inherited as a dominant trait but that the expression of the tumor within the eye is technically recessive. The affected gene that produces retinoblastoma is located on chromosome 13 in region 13Q14. 40% of the time, the RB1 gene mutates during conception. This is called germline mutation and is a chromosomal abnormality. Retinoblastoma is not specific to certain environments or geographic locations, but is more common in children. Retinoblastoma affects all races equally and both genders, again, not being common in a particular race or gender. There are 350 new cases of retinoblastoma a year in the U.S. and 5,000 new cases a year worldwide. 90% of children diagnosed with the disease are cured, and this is a disease documented in children dating back to more than 2,000 years ago. The RB1 gene is responsible for making a protein that suppresses tumor development. The protein does this by stopping mutated cells from dividing and forming cancerous tumors. When the RB1 protein is changed, cells will divide continuously. This results in a growth inside the eye, usually the retina, which can result in retinoblastoma. Just like any cancer, retinoblastoma can put great emotional and financial stress on the patient and their family. If detected early enough, the patient has a very good chance of retaining their vision. In severe cases, the patient could lose their entire eye or the cancerous cells could spread throughout their body. In almost all cases, the patient is required to wear protective eyewear when playing sports and must be aware of other cancers that could develop. The stage of detection of retinoblastoma is crucial in determining treatment. Ultrasounds can be done to show the development of the tumor in an eye. DNA blood tests are used to detect bilateral retinoblastoma. DNA and tissue samples from the tumor are needed to diagnose unilateral retinoblastoma. Amniocentesis can also be done to check unborn babies for retinoblastoma. Patients are usually diagnosed around two and a half years of age. Retinoblastoma can be treated with almost a 90% success rate if detected early enough. Standard treatments for retinoblastoma include enucleation, which is the removal of the entire eye and part of the optic nerve, radiation therapy, cryotherapy, which involves freezing and destroying the abnormal tissues, photocoagulation, which uses lasers to destroy blood vessels that feed the tumor, thermotherapy, which uses heat to destroy cancer cells, and chemotherapy. Potential treatments for retinoblastoma include substanon chemotherapy, which is the process of injecting drugs through the membrane covering the muscles and nerves at the back of the eyeball to kill the cancerous cells, and high-dose chemotherapy used in conjunction with a stem cell transplant to hopefully restore the patient's body's blood cells. The future for other potential cures remains bright.